We're going to talk about the plasma energy cycle. You've seen it your whole life. When lightning strikes, then you hear thunder. Boom! The plasma energy cycle is what caused the thunder. There's three parts to a plasma energy cycle. There's a spin up, a plasma energy burst, and a plasma energy collapse. The lightning causes the spin up. There's a huge increase of pressure. It's a plasma energy burst. Boom! Which causes the thunder, and then it all just disappears. There's no smoke, nothing. It's all gone. Joe Papp discovered how to produce the plasma energy cycle. He used it, he put it in a motor, the motor would produce over 100 horsepower and would run for hours with no external source of energy. He hired Bob and Tom Rohner to build that motor. Joe Papp died, never revealing the secret. Bob and Tom Rohner rediscovered it. Unfortunately, Tom Rohner died and the only guy that knows it is Bob Rohner. I've got a much longer video. There's a lot of stuff on the internet that you can research this on. But in a long video it shows that. Now we're going to go show you a test piston that Bob Rohner has. Now, as you can see here, this is the whole thing all put together. Now we've took it all apart. The bottom part here is what we use to do uh, initiate the process. This fires and it causes the plasma energy spin up. This is the cylinder. This is a coil. This is Bob putting them together. This is what we test with on the top. It's 120 pounds of pressure. It's a two inch cylinder. So it's about almost 400 pounds of pressure. Now Bob's going to fire. You see it fire? Did you see what it did? It raised that 400 pounds of force an inch and three quarters. That's how much energy is there. And we're going to show the physics behind that now. One of the things that we're going to show you is a top. And we're going to spin it. We're going to do a spin up. Now, these things are set solid. It's a C-shaped. So remember the C-shape. Watch what happens. Right, this is the top. And this is a spin up. This is a collision. Collapse. That was the plasma energy burst. Did you see it jump away at high speed and then it slowed down and stopped? That's the plasma energy collapse. And if you can understand that, you're going to be able to understand how this works in physics. I hope you've watched some of my videos on the key ring app because that's what this is. This is a hydrogen key, key ring atom, one proton ring, circling particles that are the electron rings. And they have a speed. The faster they spin, the bigger they get. Once they get too big, they start to open up because they have a length. Once they open up, they're a C shape. So what happens inside the plasma energy cycle? Well, according to what Bob's using, he's using thorium. It produces alpha particles. This would have been a helium atom, except there's no electron ring. So there's basically four uh, proton rings at the center. Once those are excited inside the process that he caused, causes to happen, which I don't know what that secret is, they're going to come out at 1 20th the speed of light. And when they strike an electron ring on the outside edge, they're going to cause it to speed up. And once it speeds up, it's going to have this C-shape to it. Now that was just with hydrogen, but they're using noble gases. This is the key ring atom using neon. There are 20, 20 proton rings at the center of this, and then these are all electron rings around the outside. So whenever Bob initiates the process, fires it up, the, the uh, alpha particles come by, strike these atoms on the outside, cause them to go faster, open up into a C shape. Which this atom here then would now be the C shape or the plasma. It's now in the plasma energy state. Now what's going to happen to this? The same thing that happened to the top. Whenever the top collides with something else with the C shape, what's it going to do? It's going to bounce apart. So rather than just having atoms that are bouncing apart because they've got little round circling objects, they bounce apart, 
they're going to bounce apart very rapidly and that's going to be what causes the huge increase in pressure. So there's a spin up, atom basically bursts open and it causes a burst of pressure, the plasma energy burst. Now after these particles strike they're going to go back to a slower speed. It's that simple. In a normal gas, round spinning. Gases are going to bounce around, round top. Also have the C-shaped. Now when we spin this round one, then bounces, the gases are going to bounce off of each other. You add in a plasma energy burst, you get a massive increase in pressure. That's it. That's what's happening inside with a plasma energy burst. A spin up, a burst, and a collapse. This is a standard model of neon. Ten protons, ten neutrons, ten electrons all orbiting around. If you're going to use this to explain the plasma energy cycle, good luck. Because the plasma energy cycle definitely violates the 20th century laws of physics. However, when you use the keyring atom with 21st century laws of physics, it easily works and it predicts it. Why is that? It's because physics and chemistry are easy with the correct geometry.